We are coming down from a serious situation right now. Maki escaped. You woke up this morning and said, where's Maki? I'm like, oh, she's probably hiding under the bed. She's been exploring a little more. Yeah, she wasn't. This is what happened. Right now, the sunroom is on red alert and off limits. Close that. She's been chilling out here and loving it, and we've been totally cool until we saw that she must have jumped out here when she saw something. And it's a big world out there. So we went outside looking for her. Couldn't find her. Started freaking out a little bit. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Freaking out a little bit. But we got you back. We got you back. Someone's super happy to be home. Yeah, it's hot out there, huh? And scary. Yep. It is. I think, honestly, she's happier to be here than we are happier to have her back. Yep. I don't know. No, I, I think she's happier to be inside. I'm really happy to have my girly back. <laughs> <laughs> too much love mom too much love I didn't want to say just now in front of Steph but she was really freaking out I mean I was too but I was trying to remain calm I came out looking for her I was out like 15 minutes looking for her didn't find her Steph was like setting up food here so she might smell it and I went back inside I grabbed my phone because we were going to call Steph's dad and notify the office she was gone. And then I came back out here and I tried to put myself in her shoes. She wasn't under there and I was right over here. And then the next spot I found her right under the front porch. I saw her beady little eyes and this sliver of a space. She must have crawled in through the square there. Can you see that? must have crawled in through here that I was able to snatch her out of there no one's happy to be home but you we would never leave you I'd have been searching for days I love you too sweetheart I'm glad you're safe I just came out of the bathroom in Daddy's room, and you're right here. Did you follow me in here? We're gonna go to the beach. You just rest on the bed or anywhere you want in the house. Just not on the porch. You all right? Yeah. Now that she's back safe and sound. I don't know, it's still like jumpy. I'm like, is she breathing? <laughs> is her ears twitching?
Two days in a row. Super blessed. The sun hasn't quite gone down tonight. No. It's been a beach. Today even more so because our Maki escaped and then... But she's back and at home. She wasn't... <laughs> she wasn't what? She was gone for how long? It could have been hours. We don't know how long. We just woke up and she was gone. Right. So once we realized she was gone, how long before we got her? 15, 20 minutes? No, probably at least 20 minutes. Because I went looking for her and I actually talked to a neighbor, gave the neighbor my phone number. <laughs> started calculating in my mind. Then I went in and I talked to you and I didn't go outside again right away. And then I went out and I, we found her, but. Harrowing experience. Could have been disaster. For real. Actually, we were just saying, I don't know, maybe other people think their cat is smart or your pet's special or smart. I'm not saying Maki's special or smart, but she was wise to not go very far. I don't know if all cats are like that or you have a good influence on her. I'd like to think so. Thanks for watching you guys. Click the like button for Maki being safe and sound at home while we enjoy the sunset. And we'll see you tomorrow. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.